38 years after Stan Makita retired, across the street from the old Chicago Stadium where he became a legend, his fans paid a final tribute to all he did in this town. And it's really, you know, sweet that everybody comes out just to see, you know, one goodbye to him for Chicago because he was a truly Chicagoan and loved the city of Chicago. The greatest Blackhawk, Mike Lowe called him. Uh, the way he played the game, uh, the way he was off the ice, he was just a great guy. Makita's number 21 jersey was placed on top of his coffin in the United Center atrium. The trophies he won were close. Family members greeted fans who shared what Makita meant to them. He was a great hockey player, he was a Blackhawk, he was a gentleman. Ferocious player, a hockey hall of famer, equally beloved for his devotion to charities. As a boy, he arrived in Canada from Czechoslovakia, unable to speak or understand English. And so later, he founded a camp for players who had hearing loss. Makita understood. Took his fame, his fortune, and helped others who were disadvantaged and felt the same way he did. We love Stan Makita. Stephanie Wright wrote on a puck, speaking for all here today. For, for all of his skill and all of his fame, um, he really was a wonderful human being.